Hans Schem, the 6th of October 1891 in Bayreuth, the 5th of March 1935 in Bayreuth, was a Gauleiter in Nazi Germany. Topic: Life. Shem, whose parents ran a shoemaker's shop, first went to a Volksschule for five years and then as of 1905 to a teacher's college. In 1915 he got married, in 1917 a son was born. He taught school beginning in 1910, first in Wolfersreuth, then as of 1911 in Nerfang and from 1920 at the Altstadtschule. Old Town School which was later named the Hans Schem Schuler, in Bayreuth. During the First World War he worked at a military epidemic hospital in Bayreuth where he became infected with tuberculosis. In 1919 he belonged to the Freikorps Bayreuth, which took part in the street fighting that was common at the time among opposing political groups in Munich. On the basis of his background in biochemistry, Shem became head of a bacteriological chemical laboratory in Tarle Hubertusbad. After it closed in 1921 for financial reasons, Shem returned to the classroom until 1928. Shem's interactions with Nazi groups had begun by 1923. On September 30 of that year he first met Adolf Hitler. With Hitler's quick confidence, Schem became an assessor in the Bayreuth Volkischer Bund in 1924, and in the following year he organized the Bayreuth Nazi Ortsgruppe local group, and the Nazi GAU of Upper Franconia Oberfranken. Schem built the organization up with determination. His political positions were clearly anti-democratic, anti-Semitic and anti-communist, as can be seen in some of his quotations. We are revolutionary, we want to overthrow the present state. On our enemies, we shall take revenge, and indeed bloody revenge. We are not objective, we are German. that a Jew should dangle from every lamppost." In 1927, Schem founded the National Socialist Teachers' Federation. In 1928, he became a member of the Bavarian Landtag. As party leader for Bavaria, Schem was responsible for preparing the party members and candidates for the election campaigns. In 1929 under Schem's management the Munich Nazis won nine seats, and Schem became the faction leader. The presence of the Nazi representatives in the parliament was controversial. Schem also took on the role of publicist in the late 20s. For a brief period he took over the leadership of several Nazi newspapers Streiter, Weckruf and National Zeitung. In April 1929, Schem founded his own newspaper, and in August of the same year appeared in the Nationalsozialistische Lehrerzeitung National Socialist Teachers Newspaper, the National Socialist Teachers League's NSLB journalistic organ. On 1 October 1930 came the first edition of the weekly newspaper Kampf für Deutsche Freiheit und Kultur. Struggle for German Freedom and Culture", which was published by Schem, and whose circulation rose from 3,000 in the beginning to 20,000 by 1932. In 1931, Schem founded the Bayreuth National Socialist Cultural Publishing House Nationalsozialistische Kulturverlag Bayreuth, which beginning on 1 October 1932 published the daily newspaper Das Frankische Volk circulation, 10,000. In 1930, Schem became a member of the German National Parliament, the Reichstag. 
In 1933, the GAU of Upper Franconia, led by Schlem, was united with the GAU of Upper Palatinate Lower Bavaria to form the GAU Bayerische Ostmark. Schem kept his job as Gauleiter. Further more, in 1933, Furthermore, he became an SA Gruppenführer. On 16 March 1933, the Reich Governor Franz Ritter von EPP appointed Schem to be the Provisional Culture Minister. Hitler then appointed him on 13 April 1933 the "...leader of cultural and educational affairs of Bavaria." In 1933, Schem became an honorary citizen of Bayreuth. In April 1933, when Schem arrived in Passau to attend the laying of the corner stone for the Hall of the Nibelungs, he also addressed the masses. Passau honored Schem by dedicating a street and a school to him. In March 1935, Schem was seriously injured in an aircraft crash. Although Hitler personally ordered Berlin professor Ferdinand Sauerbruck to fly to Bayreuth, Schem, however, succumbed to his injuries on March 5 before the professor's arrival. His successor as Gauleiter was Fritz Watchler. The Nazis posthumously honored Schem as a publicist and educator by naming multiple schools, streets, and halls after him. Topic Works Der Rote Krieg. Mutter Oder Genesee, nineteen thirty one.